yet. I am super, super, super excited to do this video. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've just sat down and talked to you guys and I have so much to tell you guys today. So in one of my last videos, I was telling you guys that I'm going to Mexico. So I just came back from Mexico like two days ago, a couple of days ago. Right when I got to Mexico, it was fiesta time right away. Right when it I got to Mexico, it was fiesta time right away. It was New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, it was New Year's Eve. Um, my family was getting ready to celebrate. So New Year's Eve was super, super fun, um, especially since I got to spend time with my family. I haven't seen my family in Mexico for about two years, so it was so nice to feel all the love and it just feels so good when you know that people have missed you so much and you've missed them and I didn't realize how much I miss my family until I got there so it was just so nice so nice to, like, celebrate to, like, with celebrate them with and them and just company. enjoy their company another great, highlight, great was highlight was showing one of my favorite cousins who is really into the internet world um, my YouTube videos and it's just kind of cute to watch your family members watch your own videos Oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the part of Mexico that we went is called Guadalajara and unfortunately Guadalajara doesn't really have any beaches so we had a lot of barbecues with the family for those of you that those don't of you know, that don't I know don't I don't pork. eat pork and and in Mexico, in Mexico they, eat. they eat a lot of pork so avoiding pork there was like mission impossible I was always like so wary and like oh my god is this pork this looks like chicken but is it pork okay this looks like beef but maybe it has pork in it you know so fortunately i was able to steer clear of all pork related meat products and um i was i was an accomplishment when i got to mexico another really cool another really cool thing that we did was went to a lucha a libre fight, fight. Don't know what you don't is. know what that it's is it's kind of like a style of mexican wrestling where they wear masks if you've ever seen macho libre you probably know what i'm talking about so that was super cool to go to one thing that really really shocked me about the match is that i think 80 percent of the people that go there go to like boo the players say nasty things to them they were like there was like literally no mercy from the audience so audience they like they were just saying worst the things, worst things and they were like and they cheering, were like cheering, cheering but, it was, kind of, but it was kind of like funny what they were cheering and I don't want to repeat what they were cheering but it was super hilarious because the audience really really gets into the fight and they really feel like they're part of the fight and then some people even from the audience were like challenging the fighters and I was just like what is happening these people can like beat you up what are you doing another cool thing about the match is we were super 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 close to the very front so so seats were amazing, were amazing. And sometimes, like, and sometimes, and sometimes like the come, players would like, come super like close. super close and like just start like pounding on each other and i was like oh my god i am gonna get punched in the face or I'm gonna get killed like if one of these people like throw something at me I'm just gonna get like knocked out so in Mexico my family is super into sports especially soccer it is in our blood pretty much so Guadalajara has a super new stadium um, I forget what it's called oh well <laughs> but that's where the but Chivas that's where the Chivas plays, plays and, and, me, and my me and my brother really, really wanted to check it, wanted out. To check it fortunately, out fortunately I have an uncle who works as a soccer scout and he has players on that team so with that comes season passes so he let us use his season passes he had two tickets for me and my brother Are you ready for this Woo! Chivas isn't the greatest soccer team ever but it was super cool to watch Chivas was playing against was playing against Cruz, Vera Cruz. The, game the game ended as a tie, as a tie. Unfortunately. unfortunately our city's team did not win but that's still cool <laughs> and watching any game live is pretty much super fun and I'm always down whenever I go to Mexico I always have to check out the art now the art is like the pinnacle of Mexico and I just love art and I just love seeing Mexican artists and their art. We went to Tonala, which is like a little town outside Guadalajara. It has it a has a lot of ceramic, ceramic kind of things, kind of things a, lot of paintings, a lot of paintings, a lot of, a lot of um, just beautiful.
beautiful art. So like I said, I only went to Mexico for like a week and I kind of regret not staying longer to be completely honest. Being back from my trip now, I feel all this positive and happy energy. I feel like that goes to show that it's super important to surround yourself with people that love you and that make you happy, especially when you need it the most. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed your winter break as much as I did and I will see you guys very soon.